Just take your chair for a walk. I am. Yeah. <laughs> it gets really close. Hey, you're a chair. Pick up the chair waist out there, or you leave it out there? Yeah, it doesn't it. biodegrade. Really? Yeah, you can't tell that it's broken until you sit on it, and then this whole part won't fall off. Oh, that's a feature. I want to point your fingers, like but up. Andy did it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to point it's actually, it. It was an intern. She's like 90 pounds. I don't know what happened. Really? So oh, like, man. Like, was she butt bombing it? She's like jumping up and like, yeah! I'm like, I can't figure it out. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Later. <laughs> Um, I broke the chair. <laughs> That'd be a tough first day. <laughs> That's right. Welcome aboard. You're, Whatever you, you broke do, our chairs. Don't break the chairs. <laughs> They're very valuable. <laughs> oh, I broke one. Part of the success of our great bunker company is, <laughs> is our chairs. <laughs> oh, that's good. It's a secret. It's one of our trade secrets. It reminds me of one of the more brilliant things I've ever done, which was during a, a certification exam. I managed to get real nervous and accidentally turn off the computer monitor and oh, no. I couldn't turn it back on. <laughs> so, <laughs> no. so like 10 questions left. <laughs> You're smacking the monitor. Come on, come on. Oh, oh. <laughs> was that an old CRT monitor? It was a DOS monitor. I couldn't think of an old monitor, so I just said DOS. Is there an old monitor brand? Is it Westinghouse maybe? It's a ViewSonic. An original ViewSonic. Wow, I went to kick it, my, my thing rolled back so far. It was a Philips head monitor. Mm. Philips also still relevant though. No, I was doing the screw back though. It was a flathead yeah. monitor. Philips head monitor. <laughs> make any sense. Still doesn't make sense, but it's okay. I was originally just going to play along with this full set thing, but you're not going to fly that. I don't like this new table with the greasy handles and the weird ball. Yeah, this, this is uh, way too fast. We like it or we have to work for it. Yeah. So this is a lot like the old table that we used to like. Yeah, we used to have a table that was... Uh, well, it was in episode uh, 12A. Yes, I have more memorized. A lot of our viewers are going to be upset. The gamesmanship has changed. Yeah, they're like, oh, uh, we like the old way. You guys sold out. You guys are on the juice. <laughs> no, but it's a foosball. Out of our Cranberry juice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> you tricked me into tricking me into tricking oh, you. Oh, yeah, this new ball is so much better. Ball's the best. <laughs> So they've been stopped like 30 <laughs> times in a row. I did so note that one at least. <laughs> they just start and then roll to a stop. Is even a foosball or just a weird game ball? <laughs> it definitely feels like it had, if, you're, if you were to taste it, it would be salty. It's like an atomic warhead. You say that about everything. <laughs> <laughs> this really looks like if you were to taste it, it would taste salty. I bet this tastes just like laughing <laughs> tap. <laughs> so you're an okay quest. Leave it alone. That's what the medic here at the bunk always says. <laughs> Throw some dirt in it. Oh, she got the soft clay. It'll be ironic is later they'll find that like dirt has some sort of anti-aging yeah. property. Rubbing people, dirt in it People that rub dirt in their wounds. <laughs> Turns out they're, they live an average of 10 years longer. <laughs> so your old PE teacher was right. <laughs> <laughs> See a bunch of old PE teachers walking around, outliving everybody in the old folks' home. <laughs> There's gradients. You should listen to us. Still with the whistles around their necks <laughs> and the weird old shorts. Yeah, the creeper shorts. This is really upsetting. How many times the ball is stalled? Yeah, I think. Uh, Every time to go back, you get rid of these balls. <laughs> like, wait a minute. What happened to the good balls? We just bought them like four dollars each. 
Yeah, we threw them away. <laughs> we swallowed them. We also so like our original them. table back. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I can't deal with this. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Oh, the back of your head is ridiculous. You see that skit? No. It's a Mad TV. Wow. That was, uh... The only thing I remember from Mad TV is the... Well, actually, there's a couple skits that I really like. It wasn't, it, uh, Frank Caliendo on there? I don't remember him on there, but... So, Will Sasso was on there. He was a funny guy. Sasso. He played uh, Randy Newman in that skit I oh, sent you. Oh, yeah, yeah, all right. I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, two, two. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, he was really funny. And then there's the guy who played, the guy who in combo with his mother played Stuart. It was like a, they have a fully grown man play like a child. He's like, look what I can do. <laughs> remember that? Yeah, yeah, I remember it. And then mom was like, no, Stuart, don't you do that. Yeah, no matter what it was. I, I only got the Mad TV like peripherally, but yeah. I, I remember when it came out, I was like, okay, there's some sort of competition. Yeah. Actually, get up against Saturday Night Live. That was back when Saturday Night Live was doing pretty well, though. Yeah. They actually, had a good cast. If that, something like that came out now. Right. Just squash it. Um, I hear we perform pretty well against Saturday Night Live in the uh, internet viewing time <laughs> slots that we're in. Our Nielsen ratings are off the charts. <laughs> Jeremy Nielsen over there in the yep. county. Stevie He's Nielsen. like, that's pretty good. Cool. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't have a chart for you guys. He's so bad. It's like the uh, anchor man. Like, Those ratings don't take into account households with more than one television. So we could be number one. <laughs> yes, we are number one. We're number one in the foods entertainment category. And off the charts just means. Not a chart for Number <laughs> 72 in entertainment, number one in your hearts. <laughs> Just number one in our hearts? Can there be a higher number? Number well, zero in your heart. I'll say is if things don't improve, this might be our last two first game. <laughs> well, I hope you all, all enjoyed this. Garbage. <laughs> we thought we were going to make it triple digits on these episodes, but... What episode are we on, anyway? Uh... Something seven. Well, if you count each game as an episode, then we're like 70, like 76 total. I think we do have one hidden episode. Ah, you dumped it. We have one hidden episode that's not yet been published. So probably 75 technically. Secret episode? Yeah, you see that? A little reference to secret episodes? If I tell you in a lock, unlock code, will I? Uh, you, you, have to get a, you have to get a redemption code. And it's only on Yufu's yogurt. How much does that cost? <laughs> it's a little lid of Yufu's yogurt. It's like five payments so, of three thousand dollars. Well, it's about right. It's the way we're seeing. That seems fair. I don't. It's I, market value. I feel like people should already be knocking down our door. Clamoring. Door. I think it's lower than I almost said. <laughs> <laughs> I clamor sometimes. <laughs> this is the kind of thing you really want to clamor for. <laughs> Just, is that of, another dumb just a bunch of clams. <laughs> <laughs> I was always talking to clams, wondering why they sound like that, but now that you recreated it, it makes a lot more sense to me. What's happening? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very special time when the clams clam. <laughs> <laughs> you can't always hear. But Tom's job before he came to the bunker was he's a marine biologist with a with a sea mic. <laughs> he's going to go under the ocean and put it up to animals to figure out what they sound like. Uh, like a sea cucumber? What does that one sound like again? I forget. Sea cucumber? Yeah, you're like, it wasn't anything like a sea like a clam, right? I don't remember was that. Was that something like. Ooh! 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 It sounded like old timey. That's actually how they used to make old timey horns out of sea cucumbers. <laughs> oh, you just squeeze them. They have to keep them moist or they die. Not to be confused with a sea pickle, you know? Well, it's, <laughs> it's in the ocean. <laughs> Dead sea? There aren't any sea pickles. Right? They're all sea pickles. <laughs> Pretty much all of the things in the sea just sound like pirates. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a sea pickle. I ain't a sea pickle. Yarr. Actually, that's the name of my horse. That's I'm gonna win the triple crown, sea pickle. Sea pickle. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. Congrats on that. <laughs> Smart train right myself. there. Found him sugar cubes every day. <laughs> We're looking for the trifecta. <laughs> Do horses eat other things than sugar cubes? No! Oh, okay. Of course not. Sure. They eat, well, sugar cubes and... Well, no, that's it. I guess. <laughs> I mean, like, My horse is going to win then. I have <laughs> all sorts of sugar. It's not even just cube form. Stacks of sugar cubes. Candy. <laughs> An O. Henry bar from 1982. <laughs> what is an O. Henry bar? Yes! That's what I'm talking about. It's a candy bar. I was like... I think it was more nougat than like anything else. It was. It, there's a reason they're not. There's a reason they're not around anymore. Because, because it was a terrible candy bar. <laughs> Have you ever had a Charleston chew? Yeah, I've okay, heard of it. It's probably like that. I haven't had Bo Henry since I was like, I don't know, two. Well, somebody's birthday must be coming up. And they're dropping hints yeah, about O. Henry. Just solid. Sell, sell Come on, that wasn't as obvious as as my as my hey. other hints. So, <laughs> my birthday's next week, and yeah, no Henry bar in a long time. <laughs> if, you could, if you could scrounge one up, that'd be really cool. I mean, it, they're not easy to find, but if you really care. Very, very fast. Oh, what you gonna do, Tom? You wanna score on me, oh, Henry style? I need you more than I. And I have radioactive stuff on my eyes. And it makes it glow real weird. So oh, look at that. Yes. Right, right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You have something on your eyes. Yeah. Let me on the laser. A radioactive toothpaste on their eyes. Hmm. Oh. That's how Riddick kind of started. <laughs> that's, that's origin story for Riddick. Yep. He was in the next movie we do. You thought you were going to score on that one. Are you also on the laser? No, I'm not on the laser. Oh, you're behind by one. I know it's really so embarrassing for you. Yeah, bro. I saw Guardians of the Galaxy over the weekend. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you're right, that Drax part is really funny. Yeah. Ha, <laughs> she's revealed your deepest, darkest secret. <laughs> I love it. Like, do me, do me. <laughs> I've never felt such humor. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, he, uh, he and uh, really you are job. truly the hideous part. It was really good too. Who's going to win, Tom? We're both going to win. I win. Well, I shouldn't have axed. Just an attack. Yours exploded before we even hit.